Now, here's a little story for you. Um, obviously, lockdown has, uh, and the pandemic has changed travel significantly for all of us. Um, but going back to pre-pandemic days, uh, I would travel to Hong Kong. Um, my, my, my wife is from Hong Kong and our family is still over there. Um, I travel every year and I would very much enjoy the museums, galleries and everything Hong Kong has to offer. It's a wonderful city. Um, and one year, a friend of hers in, um, arranged for me to go and meet with um, a Chinese artist of some renown called Mok Iden. Um, it was a fascinating experience. I sat in on two of his classes and, and listened and watched, primarily watched, because it was all conducted in, in Cantonese, um, watched him um, with his pupils receive their work, look at it, and then con <laughs> proceed to literally get his brush and then add to their drawings something that I think in the West would be uh, frowned upon perhaps but anyway that's what happens and they, they kind of quite happily uh, were quite happy for him to modify their work in that way but um, I wanted to share this story because it really is a story about observation and capturing from the natural world because in this session afterwards I, with with help of a translator I asked him how he got his understanding of foliage and bamboo and birds and so on. Did he do any other form of drawing out and about before he went back to his studio and, and did these wonderful Chinese brush paintings? And um, it was explained to me that he, he would walk every day and he would literally just look sit down and look or look while he was walking and his walks were quite often around the same area throughout the year so he'd see the seasons change and so on but he would observe trees and he'd look at the underlying principles of trees rather than specifics and he said that over time one begins to understand treeness so we're getting into platonic territory here um, the whole idea that there are sort of ideal forms for every, everything has an ideal form. And he has a sort of mental um, memory bank, if you like, of bamboo, of frogs, of butterflies, of birds, flowers, mountains that he, he can call upon. So there is observation and that is tied into memory, yeah? And what the artist's sensibility does with that memory, I think modifies and when it is called upon and translated back onto the paper, then what is sometimes called style is what is observed in that delta between what you would see if you took a specific photograph and then compared it to what the artist especially Mocky Den, had done to his branch of magnolia or whatever, there'd be some kind of discrepancy there, but there'd be a vitality in, in, in the actual transcription which offers up you, the audience, something different to what that photograph is giving you. Yeah. So it was very interesting. We spoke a bit too about the differences between Western and eastern approaches to painting and perspective absolutely fascinating and all being well i hope he's well it would be nice to have such conversations again in the future let's see <laughs>